is saying that it, it's a custom that whenever a person is going for Hajj, they uh, throw up a, a throw a party for him where they gather and eat and uh, congratulate him because in some countries Hajj is the journey of a lifetime they require to say for 20 30 years to come it's difficult it takes two to three months and people may not come back because back then it was difficult to travel so the custom continued that they would give a farewell party to this uh, uh, person going for Hajj and they would make dua for him or ask him to make dua etc in general throwing a party is permissible but when connecting it to Hajj for going to Hajj this is something that is dubious I would not say it's haram because this is not related to religion in the sense that it's a religious party it's just uh, a, a celebration it's just honoring the person before he leaves so it's a farewell party in a sense however connecting it with Hajj makes it a bit dubious and when it comes to the issue of making congregational dua or having a certain ritual attached to it as they do in some countries in this case it becomes an innovation so if it's just a party the man is traveling next week we're, th we're, uh, we're gathering together uh, his friends and relatives and uh, uh, preparing some food and that is it get a, a, a long and, and mashallah yani, a gather there's no problem in that but the problem is when thinking that this is a must or recommended when thinking that it is a prerequisite for Hajj when thinking that the dua is uh, also part of the deen in that occasion his second